What is going on everybody? Joey Phillips here. We're back with another installation video on the 2015 Subaru WRX. We are gonna be installing the Perrin Gurney Flat. I'm gonna show you what I took out of the box. I'm not actually gonna video myself unboxing it. It's a rather long box. There's not a lot in it. That's all here I really gotta know. What we got going on over here, we got the license plate, we have the bolts, the rivets, and it actually gave you a tool to rivet it into the lip itself. Obviously, we got some directions going on over here. I'm gonna read through this. It doesn't really give you a template, but it does give you exact measurements where you need to drill. And then of course, the main piece, which is gonna be this guy right here. We got the actual gurney flap. It's metal, it's kind of flexible. I don't see any problems with fitment moving forward. So we're gonna dive right into it. I'm gonna tape off the actual spoiler itself just so I don't scratch it, just so I don't drill into a place that's not marked. So I'm gonna measure three times and I'm gonna drill once. We're gonna go do that right now. So the first step after taping off the actual lip spoiler is you wanna measure 22 inches from the bottom corner of your tail light that's up against the trunk itself and you should be lined up to the center of the trunk. Snap on, this should do. All right, so we have the first mark made, which is going to be 22 inches from this point to the center and 22 inches from this point to the center. And that's what gives us this actual mark. I mean, realistically, it's dead center in the Subaru emblem. You want to make sure you measure precisely. And that's what the 22 inches gets us. Now that I got that hole completely lined up, first things first is I'm going to use this as my guide hole. Once I drill this in and I can put that first bolt in that's dead center, I don't have to do any more measuring. All I have to do is just line up the holes on the parent gurney flap and I'll know exactly where I'm drilling. So now that the first one is set, I'm going to drill a 1 8 hole and then I'm gonna upgrade to a 25 slash 64. Not really quite sure how to say that exact measurement, but we're going from a 1 slash 8, a 1 8 to a 25 60 fourths, whatever that means. Being that I don't have a 25 60 fourths drill bit, one step below it is a 3 8. So I had to drill it with a 3 8 and then very, very carefully and gently make it a little bit bigger by kind of honing it out just a little bit just to get this actual rivet to fit, which I'm not sure if the camera is going to focus. If I get out of the picture, maybe it will. It probably won't. But anyway, so I had to hone it out just a little bit to get this rivet to fit but I'm gonna put the gurney flap up against this right now. Now that I have my main center hole, I can just kind of visually see all the other holes and then drill it that way. So I'm gonna take the tape off and then mount what I have right now. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the tool that Perrin provided us, which is this guy right here. Take your bolt and your washer, put it through the thick portion, and then what you wanna do is you wanna grab your 10 millimeter uh, socket and ratchet. You're going to then screw this into the rivet that's inside the lip kit, and then as you're doing that, this space will create this rivet to mushroom inside the actual spoiler, so you have a nice and sturdy platform for this Perrin gurney flap to actually seat into. So we're gonna press in these rivets. I'm gonna drill all the other holes. We're gonna do a little bit of measuring. We're gonna keep on going. All right, so when you are actually putting this on, Perrin provides you with rubber washers to sit on the back side of this gurney flap. So when you put it up against the actual lip spoiler, it doesn't scratch your spoiler just in case you ever needed to remove it. Um, probably not because you need to remove it because once you drill these holes, I don't think you're ever gonna have to take this off or ever need to or ever want to.
All right, so now that I got all of the holes drilled, I'm gonna take a second to put the camera down and I'm gonna carefully rivet in one, two, three, four, five, six more uh, rivet bolts. So I'm gonna put the camera down for that one. Once I'm done riveting them all in, gonna obviously bring the camera back out to actually install the gurney flap onto the factory lip. So, pair and gurney flap is installed. I actually really, really like it. I thought it was gonna be a little cheesy just because I'm not really a fan of black accents on a blue car. I thought that if I had a black spoiler on top of a blue spoiler that it would kind of look cheesy, but I actually really like the way it looks. It adds a little bit more of an aggressive look. But overall, this is how it came out, the finished product. I'm not gonna lie, this bolt over here was an absolute pain in the ass. I measured perfect, but not perfect enough. So what I had to do is this bolt wasn't lining up with the actual uh, thread that I put inside. So I had to drill out the actual gurney flap, this hole, a little bit to the right. Obviously you can't notice it because there's a bolt here and there's a washer covering it, but I did have to modify it just a little bit to get it to fit. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the product. It wasn't too bad. I mean, overall, I think it took me maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half, and that's just because I'm super, super anal. It's hard to uh, really justify how good it looks because obviously I'm in my garage and it's dark out. I'm sweaty and I don't feel like getting into my car to go drive it to a gas station to get into a little bit of better lighting. You guys get the idea. Hope you like this video. Subscribe, comment, like, share. More cool shit coming your way. How you doing? A saw, dude. Oh.